Hi guys, it is a lovely fall of 2021 day as we stumble into the first Monday of the fall of 2021. Uh, that would be Monday, September 27th, 2021. Uh, and so guys, I've been holding on to this uh, story for a while. I've been, you know, I've been waiting to get out of uh, YouTube jail for, uh, you know, I was in jail for 90 days for spreading medical misinformation. So now that I have been let out of Corona Panic Jail for spreading medical misinformation on YouTube, I guess I'm trying to get thrown back in. But anyway, I have actually found this, and this was the post Good Lord, when was this? From September 3rd, uh, from our old buddy Rob Milkarski on his uh, excellent website, Undenial, uh, <clears throat> titled Retreat to Sanity. Retreat to Sanity. So Rob Milkarski is going to... Uh, spread some medical misinformation. We will see if we will see if anything I'm getting ready to say here the YouTube bots consider medical misinformation. This is uh, Rob McCarsky talking about uh, this doctor named Malcolm Kendrick. Um, I am new to the work of Dr. Malcolm McKendrick, but a skim of his blog suggests that he has many wise things to say and has written several books that I intend to read. I was unable to find many videos with Dr. Kendrick, and some that were on YouTube have been deleted by censors, but I did very much enjoy this uh, must-watch November 2020 discussion on the Corona Panic. Uh, I don't know whether that one has been ripped down by now or not. Okay, today's essay by Dr. Kendrick may be the best I have ever read on the Corona Panic and nicely articulates how I have been feeling of late. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to read Dr. McKendrick's essay because I'm quite sure I, I started reading it and I and I was quite sure I would be, uh, so I, I don't know if I post a link to something that YouTube would consider medical misinformation. Am I spreading medical misinformation or not? I guess I will find out. I will post a link you can read the entire essay what uh, this doctor uh, who's been ripped down from YouTube has to say, but uh, we're going to let Rob uh, Milkarski give us some of his favorite snippets from it. <clears throat> Despite Dr. Kendrick's expertise, meaning medical expertise, Despite Dr. Kendrick's expertise, intelligence, curiosity, and determination, he has been unable to determine what is true about the Corona Panic and has decided to retreat to sanity. So this was kind of uh, the bottom line uh, of what uh, Dr. Uh, can, th thinks about uh, the corona panic as of a few weeks ago. Quote, My self-appointed role within the corona panic mayhem was to search for the truth as far as it could be found and to attempt to provide useful information to those who wish to read my blog. The main reason for my prolonged silence and introspection is that I am not sure I can find the truth. 
I do not know if it can be found any, anymore. Today, I am unsure what represents a fact and what has simply been made up. A sad and scary state of affairs. So, I have given up on the corona panic. It, meaning the, meaning the meme around it, is what I think by, by it, when he says he has given up on it, what he means is he's given up on, on any attempt to find any objective information on uh, what people need to know to make their own medical decisions uh, of how they're going to react to the corona panic. I'm thinking is what the word it means in here. So, I have given up on the corona panic. It is a complete mess, and I feel that without being certain of the ground under my feet, I have nothing to contribute. I, too, am in danger of starting to make statements that are not true. Faced with a situation where there are almost no facts that can be relied upon from any where, meaning from both sides of the spectrum, that this, that this whole discussion has gone so completely fucking crazy, it's taken on a, a life of its own that has nothing to do with the, with the quote, real story uh, of how big of a story uh, th this should be on the planet. Uh, faced with a situation where there are almost no facts that can be relied upon from anywhere, I have officially removed myself from all discussion on the matter of Corona Panic. Instead, I shall return to other areas where, while the truth is constantly battered and bruised, and lying in a bruised heap in the corner, it is still breathing, just about alive. Sometimes it is capable of weakly raising its head and whispering quietly into my ear. I shall let you know <laughs> what it says. Thank you. Uh, Brother Dr. Kendrick, uh, you know, just pointing out, guys, uh, it, it doesn't matter uh, which side of this fence you have uh, decided to be on, as uh, as I was talking about with uh, you know, uh, at dinner uh, Saturday night with this friend of mine. Uh, who is uh, who is vaccinated? I made the statement uh, that it, well, at this point, brother, there is not one thing anybody is going to say to anybody to make them change their minds or move the needle on this discussion. And he immediately uh, debated that with me, and he said, "Hambone, uh, just today." Uh, you know, he started reconsidering his decision to get vaccinated. So, uh, but, you know, he's taking the jab now. So I guess should have thought about it before the jab, but I don't think he will be getting a booster shot. But anyway, back to Rob Milkarski. Before departing the arena, Dr. Kendrick summarized what he believes is true about Corona Panic. So this is kind of the bullets that Dr. Kendrick uh, has, has to say about it. Okay, <clears throat> this is as close as he's going to get to the truth before signing off. Quote, the Corona Panic probably resulted from gain-of-function research in the Wuhan lab. 
I, I could go on a whole video about the definition of the of this term gain of function and all of that stuff, but I really don't care about where it came from. Anyway, but uh, Dr. Kendrick believes that the corona panic probably resulted from gain of function research in the Wuhan lab, but we will probably never know for certain, I'm reading uh, on today that the UN, one more time, is opening a new investigation as more and more information pours in that uh, exactly what he's saying here is true. So it looks like here comes yet another UN investigation. I really don't know why this is so fascinating to people where it started. But anyway, that is his, his opinion on that. Okay. The current versions, versions, this is including the Delta variant, the current versions of the Corona Panic are a bit more deadly than our modern influenza with an infection fatality rate of about 0.15%. This is an infection fatality rate of, according to his number crunching, of 0.15%. I have no clue what uh, Anthony Fauci uh, would call the infection fatality rate of the corona panic, but I guarantee you it is higher than 0.15%. Okay, number three, if I have not been yanked down yet, let's see if this will get this video yanked down and be thrown back in YouTube jail. According to Dr. Kendrick, none of the test data can be trusted. Thank you. Not one word. Uh, of this. Now, he's talking about the test data. You know, I was just talking about this in a comment today uh, about these tests uh, with the false negatives, the false positives. Uh, my guess uh, is that a shitload more people uh, have had corona panic and never known it. Uh, than is being reported. A hell of a lot more uh, people have, uh, have had corona panic. And my guess is that eventually pretty much 100% of the people on this planet are going to have corona panic, including me. <clears throat> All right. Here we go again. This dude is determined to get me thrown in YouTube jail. <clears throat> It is impossible, it is impossible to compare the effectiveness of various strategies using the available data. It is impossible to figure out which is the best strategy uh, to, to, at this point, this story has gotten, you, you know, uh, it's just so fucked. Uh, there is no way uh, that, uh, th that there's going to be an effective strategy to, to fight this at this point. All right. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Misinformation exists on all sides of the debate. Misinformation exists on all sides of the debate. Everybody is a lying sack of shit whether they know it or not. Uh, the, the misinformation uh, on, on both sides, as I was saying in some rant recently, the truth is somewhere in the middle uh, of this fear-mongering screaming from both sides. Uh, I will say, you know, me being in the middle of this, calling corona panic a bad hair day, 
uh, never denying anything about, I, I've never said this virus is not real. I've never said a shitload of people aren't going to die of corona panic. I will say the, uh, the vicious attacks, uh, e even though I'm as, I'm as far away from uh, th these whack job conspiracy theorists, I'm every bit and probably farther away from these crackpot uh, anti-vaxxers and all of this shit talking about nanoparticles and depopulation agendas and sterilization agendas. I will say the people on that side of the fence uh, are a lot more open to listening to me being in the middle than the people just swallowing the bullshit mainstream media meme. Uh, it, it is the it, it is the people drinking the Kool Aid that uh, that have been viciously attacking me since day one on this uh, for calling Corona Panic a bad hair day. Uh, that is exactly what Corona Panic is compared to what is coming down the thing. But I will say, after a year and a half of this, it is these little limp dick uh, lefties believe in every fucking word, uh, you, you know, coming out of the out of the mainstream media when the mainstream media has slammed shut any debate on this for to help people reach their own uh, decisions that uh, there, there, there is no question uh, on who uh, is the biggest Nazi uh, in here. It, it's, it's these goddamn uh, mask and vaccine Nazis. Okay, one more time, I am not an anti-vaxxer. <clears throat> and finally, everyone Everyone has an agenda, including the fact checkers. Every single human being has an agenda. My agenda, the only agenda I have ever had, I have the Doomer agenda compared to what is coming down the pike, corona panic is a bad hair day. That is in no way, shape, or form denying that corona panic uh, is real. Anyway, back to Rob. I am going to try to follow Kendrick's lead and return my focus to the many, much more important overshoot issues that are grounded and in reliable science that we collectively deny, which is Rob's, I think Rob's way of saying that uh, he agrees with me that this is a bad hair day. Uh, compare, what did he call it? the much more important overshoot issues that are grounded in reliable science that we collectively deny that it, while all of this, uh, the, the unbelievable amount of fucking energy we have wasted uh, a, a, as a planet talking about some issue that, uh, you know, if, if we could uh, just jump ahead to uh, September 21st, uh, 2041, and, uh, and look at the headlines, 20 years from today, I assure you uh, that corona panic uh, will hardly be a blip in the footnotes of uh, what, was, uh, what was unfolding on this planet uh, in the year 2021 as the entire planet collectively denies it how fucked we are. Sorry, Corona Panic, aficionados, sorry, we are fucked. And with 
that, I gotta wrap this up because uh, I need to figure out something to do on this beautiful day, which it looks like is clouding up again. Get out there and deny what you wanna deny while you still can. Get out there and deny all of the overshoot issues while you still can. Bye guys. Well, little dog, that ought to get us thrown back in uh, YouTube jail.